In this video, I'm going to share with you a brand new feature to the school community, which is one-time course purchases and how you can set this up for your community. What's up friends, Paul here, and today I'm excited to share with you the brand new feature, one-time course purchases. This is a brand new feature to the school community and it is ready to roll right now. You can use it today. Just a little quick background on why you might be interested in this is in the past, you would probably have to do it manually to add people to a private course, or you'd have to set up some type of automation, probably through Zapier, but now you can do it natively within school. So this is very exciting. And as you can see, this was posted about an hour ago and already has like 111 uh, likes and 128 comments. And as you can see, people are you know, very excited about this new launch. Um, and in particular, let's say you've got a free community and you've got a paid course. This is a great way to get started. They, they kind of dive into this in this post here that like you can use the free community as a lead magnet, uh, making it easier to find the first few members, build relationships through community DMs and calls. Um, and then you use the free community to become better at your skill. And then you're positioned as an authority because you're the creator of the community. And then you figure out your members' problems and goals. And then once you're ready, you can monetize through a one-time course purchase, which we'll dive into how to set that up inside your very own community. Uh, so what that looks like right now is you can you know, set it up when you go to add a new course, you now have this option called buy now. Members pay a one-time price to unlock this course. And then you can see here what that looks like for members. So they go to the classroom and then they will see unlock for whatever the price is for your course. And so let's dive into how to set one up for yourself. By the way, if you're new to school and are wanting to start a community, I do have a free 14 day trial that you can check out in the description. So you can use my affiliate link to get started. Uh, thanks for the support. So once you start your community, you're ready to go. Um, you can go to the classroom and then you can see here that I've already set up a test course. So what that will look like for, let's say the first time that you're setting it up, you're going to hit new course. This is going to be our test course two. This is another test course. So you can see what that looks like. Um, so just a quick overview of the options that you have. So typically you can set it so that all members have access to your course, or you can set it so you incentivize people to be active members on your community. So every time they post and people like their posts, that counts as a point. And as people rack up their points, they can get to new levels. So let's say you wanted to have it unlock at level three, you could do that. But we're going to be exploring the buy now feature. Um, and again, you have a private option so you can specify who's in that community um, privately. Uh, so manually giving access to those people. Again, you might be able to set that up, I believe through automations with Zapier or um, just manually input. But let's say you wanna have a one-time cost, you can now that do that directly through school, which is awesome. So we're gonna charge good old $999. And by the way, if you need these images for your course, um, or your school community. I made a template. Let me show you real quick. Um, it's like a notion page with all of the sizes that you'll need to build out your school community. So the cover image for your school community, your icon, the about page. And then I also made a Canva templates that you can use as well as a Photoshop template. Um, and then if you need to, again, get a free 14 day trial, you just click that link to get started. And just real quick, what the Photoshop template looks like is this. So you have your school cover, the school icon, and you'll just go in here, pop in your logo, edit the text if you have a text-based logo, or you, you can input your logo however you want to do it. And then um, you've also got this course cover. So I kind of made this real simple. If you have like different modules and need to name them, you can do that and then export them. Um, so you've got all of this in different artboards and then you're about cover. So all the dimensions that you need right here, ready to go. You don't have to go searching for it, which is always a pain getting all the different sizes. So just trying to make that a little bit easier for you all. So we'll do upload. We've got the course cover from the template. I'm gonna open that, perfect sizing, process that. And like that, we've got our cover image. We've got everything set up. It's just way too simple. Okay, 
So let's say you're brand new to school and don't know how to set up a course. I'll just go through a quick walkthrough on that. So the main organization principles for courses is that you have um, folders and pages. So to add a folder, you're just going to hit these three dots right here and click add folder. And let's say this is probably the equivalent of a module. That might be something that you're more familiar with. So we'll say module just so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. And then to edit, you just hit that pencil icon. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to call this lesson one. I'm going to save this. And to add it to that module, you can drag and drop. And like that, it's now within the module. You can add more pages. So let's say there's a lesson two to this. Just hit that pencil. And there's one thing that's important to keep in mind is that you cannot uh, currently add videos directly to school. You will have to host it through another platform like YouTube, Vimeo, or Loom, or even Wistia. Um, and then you'll just drop that link. If you do YouTube, just make sure it's unlisted as well as probably Vimeo or Loom so that other people don't get your paid course for free. Um, so you can add that in and then add it. Very simple. Um, they also give you resources, like you can add a resource link, add a resource file, add transcript, pin to community post. I'm sorry, pin community post. So you can take a community post from the homepage. Um, we'll say this just so you can see what that looks like real quick. We're going to pin, let's say, our introduction post for now. It's already pinned to a course, so I have to unpin it. We'll say pin to course page, and then we'll say lesson one. So you can see what that looks like. So this is what a pin course and uh, sorry, a pin post looks like on a course page. And you can open it up directly there. So you can encourage people to post something, maybe their homework for that right there below that, so that you can give feedback to that member and all of it's in one place. So let's go back to our test course two. Um, and then from there, Basically, you're going to save it. And then as people go through the module, they're just going to hit that checkbox. And as you can see, it updates, looks really clean, simple. And like that, you set up your course and you're good to go. Again, if you want to try school out, I've got my free 14 day trial in the description. So be sure to check that out, as well as the free temp Canva and Photoshop templates. Um, so you can make use of that. But just wanted to pop in here, give you an update on this brand new feature. Again, I think this is just showing you the innovation of the team behind school. They are slowly but surely adding these features, but in a way that like done well. What do you think? Is there a feature that you would love to see in school? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And before you go, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button so it doesn't get completely lonely. And until next time, my friends, Stay techy. <laughs>